What's up, strongest men, women, and children from blocks all around the world? I am my block strongest man, and I want to welcome you back to my channel where we're going to continue our discussion of the Mammoth Strain Challenge 5 Pro Am. Spotlighting tonight, Stan Carradine. Ciao, homie. Welcome back to My Block Strongest Man, where we bring strong men into the mainstream by discussing all of the latest strong man events in the greatest analytic detail that you'll find anywhere on YouTube. We also show you how to replicate some of those events at a smaller scale with objects all around you in your own home. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe to this channel so you get notified of all of the latest videos that I release four times a week for your viewing pleasure. Make sure to comment below whether you agree or disagree with my videos. I love the engagement and I respond to every single comment. Now on to today's topic. So, first of all, you should go back to the Mammoth Strain Challenge Facebook page and check out all their latest updates there. They have new athletes jumping in the novice divisions every day, and you should get back in there and check it out. Again, the way to watch this event, which will be a live stream, yes, a live stream on January 23rd, is to go to Garage Gym Life Media's YouTube channel, subscribe, Follow my link in the description below that brings you to this particular video where you can set your reminder, as I have done, to watch it live in 11 days on January 23rd, 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. It's happening in Kentucky. So, once you've done that, you can kind of jump into your predictions of who you think is going to win, podium, or all the other placings. And so I'll show you first my magical spreadsheet of where we'll talk real briefly again to summarize what those events will be. Four different medleys and then an arm over arm truck pull. So the first one, an overhead medley, 60 second time limit. First, a log at 350 pounds for one rep, followed by a 350 pound axle for one rep, followed by a 300 pound Mauser block for one rep followed by a 400-pound Viking press for as many reps as possible in the remainder of the 60 seconds. We then move on to the deadlift medley, where we begin with a traditional 9-inch deadlift at 800 pounds for one rep, then an 18-inch axle deadlift at 900 pounds for one rep. They're typically, for most people, a little easier than a traditional deadlift. And then we move into a car deadlift, an SUV to be specific, for as many reps deadlifting that SUV as the remainder of the 60 seconds will allow. We then move into the Farmers and Frame Medley, where we have Farmers 375 pounds per hand, 50 feet out, Frame of 800 pounds, 50 feet back. So really, really taxing on the grip. And then of course we move into that Stone Carry Medley, of various types of stones. We have a 350 pound natural stone, a 335 pound atlas stone, a 350 pound Mauser block, and a 400 pound Husafelt stone. The festivities end with an arm over arm, 18,000 pound truck pull over a dirt flooring. So not asphalt or concrete, but a dirt flooring. So those are the events. Now, We've moved into here, and I've now kind of removed the redaction. There's only one more athlete to go to spotlight after this one about Stan Carradine, so you could kind of deduce everybody's placings at this point if you followed up and watched all of my previous videos leading up to this one. So it's an open book. I'm not redacting anything anymore. But we'll take a look at Stan here, and let's go back and jump over to his Instagram and see how he's been preparing so far. So, Stan Carradine goes by Stanley Built on Inst Instagram, and if we follow here, he's got a lot of really cool-looking family shots. And he's looking really strong. The only kind of gripe I have about what he's sharing here is it's pretty much all exclusively log press and squat. Uh, log press is a part of the Mammoth Strain Challenge, but squatting isn't, and that also kind of gives me no ammunition or no evidence to be able to tell how he would do in carry events or truck pulls or deadlifting, like there kind of isn't. Um, there's a lot of family-oriented stuff here, which again is really cool, it just doesn't help with prediction-wise for this particular contest. So here he's squatting again. 
Uh, if we move through, this one's a log as well. And like, I'll hand it to you, it's a really heavy log. 420 pound log is extremely impressive. He's a big built guy, very strong. So let's watch this press here. So 420 pounds is, is really, really impressive. And, you know, a little bit of a struggle, but not too much of a problem. And again, if as you go scrolling through here, I'm now 16 weeks back. So again, you'll see more log work, but now I'm kind of reaching pretty far back in time. Um, his updates are not as frequent as many of the other guys. So again, it just kind of makes it really tough to put a prediction together. So how did I do it? Um, I had to unfortunately not give him a lot of points in most areas unless I start to see some some uh, updates and prep in other areas. So um, no, I don't see him doing any overhead medleys. He did do that 420 pound log for a single and I think that actually makes him the best log presser of the group, of anybody I've seen. So then Axel, I made him second. Mauser block, I made him second. In Viking press, I made him third. I have no evidence that I haven't seen him do any of it, but his overhead pressing power seems extremely impressive. So I couldn't assume he was going to win um, those other portions of that medley, but I think he's going to do really well overall um, with the overhead medley. So... I think he'll be kind of, if you average it all out, the second best overhead presser of the lot. Then again, we move into deadlift, and I, I had to put him eighth. Um, again, there's no evidence of that I can draw from of him recently deadlifting to see where he is uh, in terms of his deadlift. It might be fantastic. I just don't have that evidence. Moving on to the farmers in frame. Again, no evidence there, so really... Um, the only person I put below him because I've seen multiple recent instances of him just not doing well with farmers kind of grip events is Trey Mitchell. And so for all of Trey's other virtues, like his deadlift, for example, which is amazing, um, his farmers seems to recently fail him quite a bit. And I don't know if it's, it may be partly grip and partly I think farmers kind of his he has big legs they've run into his legs a lot and uh, causing imbalance issues with being able to hold them in place but I think Trey again unfortunately I don't see any evidence com compelling me to change that argument will come in last in the farmer's frame and so that would make Stan seventh even though I don't have any evidence for him Stone Medley I have him coming in eighth you know last place there again because there's just no evidence of him doing um any prep work there so not to say that he isn't but it just hasn't been shared uh, at least not on instagram if any of you actually find any evidence of stan carradine doing any of these exercises that i missed somewhere other than instagram definitely correct me and tell me in the comments below so i can make these more precise predictions uh, and again arm over arm truck pull nobody except trey mitchell or josh hatfield are showing any arm over arm prep at all Trey Mitchell's doing it with a sled, um, or I shouldn't say a sled, that makes you think there are skis that make it easier. A, a frame. He's like dragging a frame up his driveway, which sounds considerably harder, and that's what I want it to sound like. And then Josh Hatfield just recently won a first place with an arm over arm truck pull in a recent event. So the only two guys that I see doing that, that sort of prep work recently. So um, how does that all kind of melt into into placings so again i think stan will be like kind of the second best overhead presser last place for deadlift seventh place for farmer frame last place for stone and last place for truck pull so if we go over into the predictions you'll see that puts stan carradine with a total of 13 points in eighth place um and I, kind of, I guess that kind of gives the, or lets the proverbial cat, as Kramer would call it, wow, out of the bag, saying that Travis Ortmeier is going to come in seventh, which you'll find out all about in my next video that breaks down why that's all happening. But in terms of Stan Carradine, I have him getting eight points on the overhead medley, which is first place, uh, and then one point meaning last place or eighth place in every other event except the farmer frame in which he'll get two points for seventh. So that's my breakdown for Stan Carradine. Thanks again for joining me on my blog, Strongest Man, your headquarters for all the best analytics on the Mammoth Strength Challenge 5 Pro-Am. And of course, until next time where we discuss Travis Ortmeier. Ciao, homie.
So if you like this video and want to learn more about any of the products I described during this video, make sure to check out the links in the description below. So if you like this video and haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing using that button right there. And also stay tuned for some other videos that you might love blooping up right there. This one is the one that YouTube thinks that you will like the best. And this one is the one that I think you will like the best. As always, share this with everyone. And until next time, ciao, homie.